today, Logic Pro 11.2 is available for macOS and Logic Pro 2.2 for the iPad. Let's dive into everything that's new in no particular order. Stem Splitter for macOS and iPad has received some enhancements and some updates, some really good ones. Now in Stem Splitter, you can split up to six different tracks. The two newly noted ones is guitar and piano. So if you wanna pull the guitar or piano from a two track or whatever it may be, now you can. Stem Splitter also includes presets if you wanna quickly split up your track by the set presets over here. But personally, I find it a little faster just to click everything that I need. And whatever is unchecked, you can create a submix right over here. So you can see piano and other is unchecked. You can create a submix for those two tracks to pull them into one two track file. You can even take it a step further and select the submix that you want. So if you just want the guitar and piano, for instance, you can go ahead and create a submix for those two. The next new feature is something that I think a lot of you will like, and it's called flashback mm -hmm. capture. Now, what does that mean? So if I go ahead and create a new audio track here, you know, there are times when you're in the studio, you just sort of play through the beat and the artist or singer will just sing on top and you're not actually recording, or maybe sometimes you're supposed to record, but you didn't. Logic Pro has your back. So if I go ahead and just hit play on my keyboard and we could pretend that we're playing through this song, as you can see, I am not recording anything. I'm just sort of playing through the session. And you'll see after we hit shift R, after we stop the playhead, all that data that I'm talking right now into the mic will be available in the timeline. So let's go ahead and hit stop. I'm going to go shift R and there is our audio performance. Just like that brought back everything we did right here. As you can see, I am not recording anything. I'm just sort of playing through the session. This also works in cycle mode as well. So if I go ahead and create a cycle region here and we're gonna do the same thing, just hit play. And we can just keep talking and doing our thing, let the artist do its thing. Logic is gonna keep listening to what you are playing or singing into the mic. And once you hit stop, it's gonna give you all of those takes as well. So I'm gonna go ahead to space bar and hit shift R. And there is our performance right there in the three different takes or the three different cycle ranges that I loop through. And I can go ahead and edit that. In Logic Pro for iPad, we now have MIDI Learn. So you know those times where you want to assign faders, knobs, switches, or other hardware controls to the app and control plugin parameters within Logic? Now you can. Let me show you how. All you gotta do is go to the top right hand corner over here, go to Learn MIDI and move a control within Logic. And then we can go ahead and move a control in our MIDI controller. And that's it. Now you are able to control that parameter using your MIDI controller. And that is on a global scale. So any session you open up, that setting will be there as well. If you don't want a menu dive and get quick access to this feature, just go up to your control bar settings and add it into your control bar. Here are other notable features that are on both Logic Pro for Mac OS and Logic Pro for iPad. So if you do work with large sessions and need to find a track quickly, now I don't have a big one right here, you can go ahead and go Control Command T. You can search for a track by track name or the track number. Just quickly jump to a tracks as you need. Again, this is really helpful if you have large sessions and you know exactly which track you want to go to. Maybe not the number part, because sometimes you don't know that, but by the name or the group name really easy to find those tracks. You can now also normalize regions in Logic. Just go down to processing and go to normalize region game. You have some settings that you can adjust to your normalizing needs and just go ahead and hit apply. On Logic Pro for Mac OS, we already have this on iPad OS, but you can have long faders in your mixer window. So if we go over to our view drop down over here, go to long faders, you can have more precise control on your fader movement. Next up is a really welcome update feature. You know when you're trying to clean up your session and label everything accordingly, all your regions, now it gets a whole lot faster. So here we are with our new audio recording that we recorded early in earlier on in this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this flashback capture. And you'll see once I hit enter, it's gonna update the name on the region. All right, just like that, done. Now for both Logic Pro for Mac and iPad, we get new sound packs. Now these sound packs are available to download from the sound library, so make sure you get those. That is everything that's new with Logic Pro 11.2 for Mac OS and iPad 2.2 for iPad OS. If you do have any questions on this or just wanna chat, let's go ahead and talk down below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later, peace.